Good morning, this is PJ. It is Wednesday, March 9th, 2022. We're here for our daily lectionary readings. We've got three readings. Once again, our psalm reading will be Psalm 17, as we have the same psalm, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Job today, Job chapter 1, verses 1 through 22. And then our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, verse 34, and we go through chapter 22, verse 6. Let us listen in to the scripture. First, our psalm reading, Psalm 17. Listen, while I build my case, God, the most honest prayer you'll ever hear. Show the world I'm innocent. In your heart, you know I am. Go ahead, examine me from inside out. Surprise me in the middle of the night. You'll find I'm just what I say I am. My words don't run loose. I'm not trying to get my way in the world's way. I'm trying to get your way. Your word's way. I'm staying on your trail. I'm putting one foot in front of the other. And I'm not giving up. I call to you, God, because I am not sure of an answer. So answer. Bend your ear. Listen sharp. Paint grace graffiti on the fences. Take in your frightening children who are running from the neighbor bullies straight to you. Keep your eye on me. Hide me under your cool wing feathers from the wicked who are out to get me. From mortal enemies closing in. Their hearts are hard as nails. Their mouths blast hot air. They are after me, nipping my heels, determined to bring me down. Lions ready to rip me apart. Young lions poised to pounce. Up, God, beard them, break them by your sword. Free me from their clutches. Barehanded, God, break these mortals, these flat earth people who can't think beyond today. I'd like to see their bellies swollen with famine food, the weeds they've sown, harvested, and baked into famine bread, with second helpings for their children, and crust for their babies to chew on. And me, I plan on looking, you, full in the face, when I get up. I'll see your full statue, and live heaven on earth. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Job. Job chapter 1. Job was a man who lived in us. He was honest inside and out. A man of his word who was totally devoted to God and hated evil with a passion. He had seven sons and three daughters. He was also very wealthy. 7,000 head of sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 teams of oxen, 500 donkeys, and a huge staff of servants the most influential man in all of the East. His sons used to take turns hosting parties in their homes, always inviting their sisters to join them in their merrymaking. When the parties were over, Job would get up early in the morning and sacrifice a burnt offering for each of his children, thinking, maybe one of them sinned by defying God inwardly. Job made a habit of this sacrificial atonement just in case they sin. One day when the angel came to report to God, Satan, who was the designator accuser, came along with them. God signaled out Satan and said, What have you been up to? Satan answered God, Going here and there, checking things out on earth. And God said to Satan, Have you noticed my friend Job? There's no one quite like him, honest and true to his word, totally devoted to God and hating evil. Satan <laughs> retorted, So do you think Job does all of that out of the sheer goodness of his heart? Why, no one ever had it so good. You pamper him like a pet. Make sure nothing bad ever happens to him and his family or his possessions. Bless everything he does. He can't lose. But what do you think would happen if you reached down and took away everything that was his? He'd curse you right in your face. That's what. God replied, Well, we'll see. Go ahead. Do what you want with all that is his. Just don't hurt him. Then Satan left the presence of God. Sometime later, while Job's children were having one of their parties at the home of their oldest son, a messenger came to Job and said, 
The oxen were plowing and the donkeys grazing in the field next to us when the Sabians attacked. They stole the animals and killed the field hands. I'm the only one to get out alive and tell you what happened. And while he was still talking, another messenger arrived and said, Bolts of lightning struck the sheep and the shepherds and fried them, burned them to a crisp. I'm the only one to get out alive and tell you what happened. While he was still talking, another messenger arrived and said, Shaldeans coming from three directions raided the camels and massacred the camel drivers. I'm the only one to get out alive to tell you what happened. And yet, while he was still talking, another messenger arrived and said, Your children were having a party at the home of the oldest brother. When a tornado swept in off the desert and struck the house, it collapsed on the young people and they died. I'm the only one to get out alive and tell you what happened. Job got to his feet, ripped his robe, shaved his head, and then fell to the ground and worshipped. Naked I came from my mother's womb. Naked I returned to the womb of the earth. God gives, God takes. God's name be ever blessed. Not once through all of this did Job sin. Not once did he blame God. Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke. Chapter 21, verse 34 is where we start. And we go through to chapter 22, verse 6. But be on your guard. Don't let the sharp edge of your expectation get dulled by parties and drinking and shopping. Otherwise, that day is going to take you by complete surprise. Spring on you suddenly like a trap, for it's going to come on everyone, everywhere, at once. So whatever you do, don't fall asleep at the wheel. Pray constantly that you will have the strength and wits to make them through everything that's coming and end up on your feet before the Son of Man. He spent his days in the temple teaching, but his nights on the mountains called Olives. All the people were up at the crack of the dawn to come to the temple to listen to him. The feast of the unleavened bread, also called the Passover, drew near. The high priest and religious scholars were looking for a way to do away with Jesus, but fearful of the people. They were also looking for a way to cover their tracks. That's when Satan entered Judas, the one called Iscariot. He was one of the twelve, leaving the others. He conferred with the high priest and the temple guards about how he might betray Jesus to them. They couldn't believe their good luck and agreed to pay him well. He gave him his word and started looking for a way to betray Jesus, but out of sight of the crowd. Here ends our readings today. Peace. Have a good day. And if you are seeing this this morning on Wednesday, hope to see you in church tonight for our Lenten services.